30 days away from what promises to be the best Grifter Games ever, and that is the 42nd edition of the Grifter Games, which will be held here in Nassau for the seventh time, beginning March 29th, with an opening ceremony to April the 1st. There are 26 member federation com countries, and to date, 23 of those 26 have indicated their intentions to be with us during that weekend. We have some 550 athletes to date that have registered. We expect this to be the most spectacular sporting event in the region that will take place in our brand new 15,000 seat Thomas Robinson National Stadium. These games have been recognized as by President Diak, the world president, as the most competitive games of its kind anywhere in the world. And if anyone should know that, it should be he. He is expected to visit these games along with a number of other IWF senior delegates, as well as other members, prime ministers, and presidents from throughout the region. We're looking to put on a very, very exciting event. These games have produced world-class athletes, such as the Usain Bolts, but our very own Pauline Davis Thompson, Debbie Ferguson, Anthony Strawn, the Golden Boys, and the list goes on. We expect that some new diamonds in the rough will be discovered at these games as well. These games are a very massive undertaking and cannot be successful without the support of corporate Bahamas. Today we are pleased to be here to announce that CIBC has come on board as a bronze sponsor that will go a long way in assisting us in deferring the cost of these games. And so on behalf of the LOC, the athletes, and indeed the Bahamian people at large, we wish to thank CIBC for heeding our call and becoming a bronze sponsor to what is time the best Grifter Games ever. I want to thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mike Sands, Mr. Basil Christie, Mr. Althea Silvinison, Ms. Linda Thompson, Mrs. Andrew Myers Tangay, also representing CIBC First Caribbean, members of the press, a pleasant good morning to you all and thank you for joining us. CIB First Caribbean takes great pride in being the first commercial bank to announce its sponsorship of the 42nd annual Carifta Track and Field Championships scheduled for March 29th to April 1st in the Bahamas. The theme, a celebration of Caribbean unity, is certainly fitting for the event. It also seems tailor-made for CIBC First Caribbean, whose footprint extends across 17 countries, including the Bahamas. Most of these islands will be represented at the event. This is indeed a proud moment for all of us as we get to experience extreme levels of talent as our young athletes compete on our turf. And as they have done before, we are looking forward to our athletes doing us proud in true Bahamian style, spurred on by homespun sounds of cowbells, drums, and the cheers of our fellow Bahamians. Of course, in the true spirit of sportsmanship, we know that there will be winners from other countries and that every victory, every new record that is established is a victory for the Caribbean, but I am sure you will forgive us for being ever so slightly partisan. Ladies and gentlemen, it is well documented that our region is filled with very talented people, excelling worldwide in several different fields. The Bahamas has its share of talent, especially visible on a global scale in the sporting arena. In fact, when glancing through the newspaper just two days ago, I noticed a young Bahamian, Byron Ferguson, who is now a professional volleyball player in Helsinki, Finland. But before him, the Bahamas produced some world-renowned athletes, such as, uh, as Mike Sands already said, Debbie Ferguson McKenzie, Pauline Davis Thompson, the Golden Girls and the Golden Knights, to name a few. Earlier this year, the Bahamas placed third in the overall Carifta Swim Championships, a meet where CIBC First Caribbean was the second largest sponsor of the event. And if we can recall, not so long ago in 2002, the last time that the Carifa Games was held in the Bahamas, our bank was also one of the main sponsors. In addition, the bank sponsors and donates to several local sporting activities, especially in support of the youth of our nation. Through our development and such activities, CIBC First Caribbean's message speaks to one support of the overall development of our youth. Encouragement for the participation of our youth in positive activities, including sports support and encouragement for friendly competition, support for activities that foster Caribbean unity. And finally, we are committed to helping the youth achieve what matters to them. Of course, our community commitment extends far beyond sports in initiatives that help charitable causes that, and the underprivileged. 
In fact, the same weekend of the Carifta Games, about 100 employees, CIBC First Caribbean employees, and their families from CIBC First Caribbean offices all across the Caribbean will be cruising to the Bahamas, Nassau, and will engage in a community project that includes cleaning up downtown areas and lunching with residents of the Nazareth Center and the Children's Emergency Hostel. Looking to the future, our parent company and one, and one of Canada's largest banks, CIBC in, in Canada, has publicly pledged to be the lead sponsor of the 2015 Pan Am Games in Toronto, Canada, as part of a four-year multi-million dollar commitment. No doubt some of our star Bahamian and other Caribbean athletes will also participate in that event. We look forward to a wonderful event and to our people doing great things in Toronto. Lastly, CIBC First Caribbean sincerely thanks the local organizing committee for presenting the bank with an opportunity to be a part of something big. We know that organizing such an undertaking is a lot, but we have faith that it will be an excellent event, and we look forward to the athletes putting their best feet forward and to our partnership leading to a successful 2013 Carifta Games. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any time for those people who are cruising to... Just take a peek at Carifta. We are we are actually um, yeah. um, looking into that because I think it would be a lost opportunity, even yeah. just for a couple of hours. Yeah, because yeah. they're here for a full twenty four hours. What days? What days? What days do they come? Twenty nine. They, they arrive the twenty nine and they go. No, they, they arrive the twenty twenty ninth and mm -hmm. they're gonna do this because they're here full day on Saturday, which is the thirtieth. Yeah. So we're it. looking to yeah. yeah. What time do they leave on Saturday? <coughs> I'm not sure. Not quite sure. Cause Cause they have to but they they have four. a full. They're gonna be. It's gonna be a full yeah. day. Yeah. Well, no, no. The reason no. I'm saying if they're leaving on Saturday late Saturday night. Um, I'm sure their, their um, social activities or their volunteer activities are going to take place Saturday day. Mm -hmm. And they may be able to either come to the morning session and then go and do their day of activities, yeah, or depending on what time they're going to leave at night. They have no session. Yeah. They have we've no session. Our activity is in the morning, so probably they have no session. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there'll be, I mean, who's not going to want to see that? Yeah. <laughs> so exactly, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they're coming from our, you know, the, the Caribbean. So, so they're going to have their... So they, so they would know about Caribbean. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, we have all the answers to questions we don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have all that. Go with it. Okay. With regard to our sponsorship of Caribbean 2018, you know, we're happy to say that the response from the corporate um, Bahamas and many individuals on the whole has been tremendous. Our budget for these games was over a million dollars. And... Um, to, to ensure that these games are the best, but we've gone overboard in terms of our planning and the provisions we made for our athletes and making sure the stadium is ready. And um, it's been ex an, an expensive challenge, but the support has been, you know, very impressive. We continue to appeal to the public, of course, for additional expenses, I mean, the, the different financial support. But, um, you know, we're happy to report that it's been, it's been very favorable. Um, in addition to the, you know, support financially, uh, to this, to these games, the the demand for tickets has been overwhelming. Um, we have been getting requests from pretty much all over the Caribbean and the United States and locally. The tickets go on sale at the box offices on the 28th of which is, which is yeah the, the Thursday, the 28th of February. The principal tick box offices are at the stadium and at the, the Kendall J.L. Isaacs Gymnasium and also the Betty Kelly Kenning Swim Complex. And, um, that's the, the, those are the primary box offices. Um, next week we'll announce the additional box offices around the, around the city. But the, the, the demand for tickets is great. We're, we're very encouraged by that because it's a good indication that the Bahamas is going to be in full force, of course, enhancing our chance to win these games uh, away from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> yes, CIBC has heeded our call and today it has become the only commercial bank that um, is a partner, has partnered with uh, the LOC and the B3As and for that uh, we are extremely grateful and um, it, it is our intention to ensure that uh, our partnership is well with um, your decision to, to join with us and to make these games uh, less onerous on us um, from a financial perspective. Well, we were the, um, the goal sponsor last year for the swimming championships. Um, and um, this really underscores our, um, our dedication um, and insistence on, in supporting the youth. Uh, we do a lot of um, sponsorships throughout the year. This, of course, will probably get the most 
uh, media attention because it's such a huge thing. The crypto swimming was quite big as well. Um, but it was an easy sell because of how important it is to us in terms of um, supporting a youth development. Um, we also had a great experience supporting uh, the, the swimming championships last year. And this uh, track and field event also brings across um, athletes from the entire Caribbean. We are a Caribbean-based bank, um, ultimately owned by a Canadian parent. But we're going to see representatives from all the Caribbean who are going to be participating in this. So for us, um, you know, it, 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 it was an easy sell. Encouraging your staff to support the event? Absolutely. And we are working with that. Um, uh, I think it's a good recommendation. But we had already planned it for the 100 folks that we have coming in on the, the cruise ship that same day to get them, because they're staff members of ours, staff members and their families, who are coming down on a cruise to participate in the Bahamas to basically support the underprivileged and the youth. Um, but we were to get them to also participate and come out there, and our staff members uh, are very familiar with the fact that we're the bronze sponsor, so it's, it, it's important for us and for them to be part of it as well. And under those terms and conditions, as a bronze sponsor, we will also make available to staff members of CIBC um, you know, tickets uh, beyond the sponsorship at favorable consideration. Well, that always helps. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 so you get all the answers, right? Okay, that's good. These guys are pros. Yeah, yeah, we